If you go back to the scriptures and the Acts of the Apostles, you'll see that St. Paul and many of the apostles, they were asking for support, for faith, and for prayer. And a lot of times when we think of church, we think of collections, we think of money, we think of all of the things we have to do to maintain what we already have. But our vision really as Catholics, as Christians, needs to be towards the future. What do we think we're going to be looking like five years, 10 years, 20 years from now? How can we grow that faith? And that's really what Reigniting Our Faith is all about. I know it's been titled as a capital campaign. And some people say, what's the difference between this and the annual Bishop's Appeal or our weekly collections? Most of these are for basic maintenance. I want to move from maintenance to mission. To think of our church not only as, as a, like a museum that has beautiful objects in it that we want to maintain, but actually a people fired with a mission to be able to take that gospel on the road wherever we go. My prayer is for each and every one of you to be generous with your prayer, with your time, with your talent, and whatever resources God has given you. But most of all, to recognize you have a beautiful story to tell and to tell the good news. We Catholics in the Diocese of Albany are the inheritors of a legacy rich in deeds and accomplishments. From generation to generation, the Church has made a positive difference in the lives of countless people across the 14 counties of our diocese. The 126 parishes that make up our diocese are not just buildings made of brick and mortar. Rather, they are built, as St. Peter says, of living stones who give breath and life to each community. It is through the parish family of faith that we encounter and experience Jesus through the sacraments and each other. As we must care for the welfare of our parishes today, so must we build for the future. It is essential that we provide the resources for our parishes to grow and to remain viable for future generations. The Reigniting Our Faith campaign is designed to support the growth and future needs of all our parishes. Through this campaign, we seek to raise $45 million, which will provide immediate support to the spiritual, capital, and financial needs of our parishes, and allow us to invest in areas important to the future of our diocese. To do this, Bishop Scharfenberger has asked that the funds be distributed the following way. 70% of the monies raised by each parish will go back to the parish to provide the financial resources needed in planning for its future. The remaining 30% will be allocated to ensuring the viability of four ministries that are vital to the future of our parishes. These ministries are retired priests, seminarians, evangelization, and Catholic schooling resources. These four areas are essential to our future as church. Each parish in our diocese will benefit from their growth and well-being. The 70% share your parish receives will give you the opportunity to address critical capital and programmatic needs that are important to the faith mission in your parish. The 30% share will also support that faith mission by ensuring that the four ministries remain viable for every parish as we move into the future. Faith is like a fire that needs a spark to grow. Reigniting our faith provides the spark to help foster dynamic parish communities for the future of our church. A number of the pilot parishes have already realized great success through their Reigniting Our Faith campaigns. Parishioners have been very positive and supportive, many of them stepping up to serve in campaign leadership roles. I think the Reigniting Our Faith campaign is really giving people a voice and ownership. They really feel like they're a part of it. I'm excited what it can mean for faith formation and for the parish. I'm excited about the excitement that it's bringing to everyone. Um, all the things that we'll be able to do and we'll be able to offer more opportunities for people of all ages. Our buildings are going to be taken care of. Things are gonna be safer and we're going to be able to do better ministry. I just think it's a great time to be a Catholic. I think that we have so many opportunities now. We can put Wi-Fi throughout the whole campus so the parents can come and be involved and maybe sit while the kids are in class and talk or work online or things like that. Hopefully we can bring in a speaker, a national speaker that'll draw people in from all around the diocese. So I think it'll do a lot. And I think it's just gonna be a great time to move forward and I would recommend this program to any parish out there. This campaign is gonna give us long-term viability the sharing arrangement is very attractive, 70% to us, 30% to the diocesan programs. I grew up here. I love this parish. There isn't anything that wouldn't do for it. 
That's why I wanted to get involved with this campaign. And if there's any way that uh, I can inspire people to get involved with the program, um, I want to do that. Look at your parish needs. It's about looking, seeing, look, looking really hard, finding where the needs in your parish are. Then that's where we're, we're going to put the 70%. We're gonna, we're gonna follow through our needs because we're answering the cries that we're hearing. The most important thing that we can take out of this is that we each individually need to reignite our faith. And that's gonna be what we need to do to get this going. Because when, once we're on fire, we will be able to spread the fire. We need to be there for everybody at every point in their faith journey. And that's what I think this program will help us to do. This campaign is about grassroots. This is about parish level. Kelly and I are supporting the campaign. We've made a commitment to the campaign because we think it hits a lot of things that are important to us. We feel that it's very important to support Catholic education. Our children were educated in Catholic schools. We felt that it was an investment in their future and to the type of people that they would become. And so far, we're seeing a very good return on that. I am very bullish on this next generation. I think it's extraordinarily important that they have a strong faith-based learning environment so that the decisions they make reflect the values of our church. I think it's very important to support seminarians and retired priests. They are the backbone of the church and they are the future of the church. They've served us selflessly through their entire career. They've dedicated their life to the mission of serving the church. That's our way of saying, you know, we appreciate what you do. As I reflect on this campaign, I think it's overdue. We have people that are raising money all the time for great causes, and yet we've been a little slow within our diocese to reach out and say, we're important too. We may be one of the most important things, and we probably should be the most important thing in your life, and we need funding as well. We need resources, we need you to step up, and we need you to support us as well. So I think this campaign is overdue and I'm delighted that we're doing it. When I see so much support from the diocese, it's really encouraging for me moving forward and, um, and taking such a big step to move into the priesthood. I think that reigniting our faith can be a, the spark that we need. It gives us the confidence to move forward. It gives us the opportunity to explore other ways of reimagining our faith reimagining how we preach the gospel message. Reigniting our faith, it's an opportunity for each one of us to give back in thanksgiving for the gift of faith, to give back in a sacrificial way for the many ways in which we have benefited from our faith over the years. We need to be reignited, we need a spark. The Holy Spirit does this. The Holy Spirit is the igniter. All we need to do is open ourselves to it. Just as generations of Catholics before us planted seeds for the future growth of our church, we, the current generation of Catholics in the Diocese of Albany, must do our part to ensure the future vitality of our faith and the glory of the living gospel for generations to come. That is what reigniting our faith is all about. Please join with sisters and brothers in parishes across the 14 counties of our diocese in reigniting our faith by participating in your local parish campaign.